Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a wonderful day. So, in today's video you're actually watching a past and a present me. This introduction is actually past me because today on past me's day um, I'm doing a little photo shoot with some new Lumia products which don't release for a few weeks so I want to obviously be able to share them with you and I like to share things before I've got photos in them because especially with weather and shooting outside with horses and Ringo, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. They're not going to be as clean or as pristine after a shoot as what they are prior to a shoot. So I thought I'd share with you everything that they've sent me recently for a new collection, which is launching probably the day that I'm currently talking, although this is like two weeks in advance. It's definitely past me because I still have a cold and I'm hoping in two weeks time when this video does go live, I no longer have this horrendous cold that's literally knocked me out for the last week. However, a week, yeah, literally a week ago today. However, I'm feeling better now. I'm just still like full of cold. I'm just not like fluey, if that makes sense. I'm also doing some photos for Holland Cooper today. Um, I've got this really gorgeous jumper on. I've got some of their um, chocolate coated jeans on and they sent me these boots, which I'm gonna show you as well. So these are the Albany knee boots. Um, I've already got them in navy. They sent them to me actually when I went as a guest of Holland Cooper to the Burley Horse Trials back in August or September, I think it was. Um, they've now very kindly sent me the brown version as well. I think the brown are a lot easier to style sometimes in the navy. Um, these are the comfiest boots, honestly. When I wore them to Burley Horse Trials, I was scared because they obviously wanted me and asked for me to wear them brand new and not wear them beforehand. Um, and we all know as equestrian girls, for anybody actually, a long day of walking and shopping in new shoes is usually a recipe for disaster. Um, and I've actually got really sensitive feet. Like I get blisters from not wearing shoes sometimes. Like I think I moisturize them too much. I was so scared to wear new boots, especially for a long day out, especially as well wearing shoes like this at the end of the summer as well, when it can sometimes be still quite warm. I was scared. These boots, oh my goodness they didn't rub me once they were so comfy so i'm actually really excited to now have them in brown so i can literally wear the hell out of them but this is the new elite collection from lumia this was a complete surprise delivery as well it was on the day um and one of the lovely girls that's one of my contacts at lumia messaged me saying oh just by the way you're getting your parcel today um a new collection has been released so thank you so much to lumia i'm so so happy with these items now what the elite collection is is it's professional basics it's the kind of things you can wear to time and time again they're timeless classics they never go out of style they are what all of like the professional people will be wearing every single day usually as well in greys or navies which again is the most classic color um, and these are really great investment pieces that you can wear time and time again and they're never going to go out of fashion really great to invest in. i love a matchy matchy set i'm not going to deny that um but obviously the matchy 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 the matchy match sets are only kind of in for six months so if you're somebody that's looking to really build a wardrobe that is timeless and you can wear time and time again that's never going to go out of date I really recommend colours such as greys and navies and really kind of investing in elite collections within brands so diving into my box okay so item number one is is the Maisie Lightweight Riding Jacket. This is beautiful. Um, I'm actually, I will actually try this on for you guys in a second as well. Um, <clears throat> this feels waterproof and I'm pretty sure it is. I don't know where the tag is to be able to tell me more about it. Um, and also as well, I wear everything in Lemire in a size eight and I do find everything does fit true to size. Um, the interior, so this is a very lightweight jacket. So it's perfect, it's transitioning season. So winter to spring and summer to autumn um, and actually autumn to winter as well before it really gets cold. Um, <clears throat> and also if you oversize and things like this, you can also fit thicker layers and underneath as well, which is sometimes a good idea. But I do feel like with a fleecy lining, this is gonna keep you really warm anyway. So yeah, this is honestly such a lovely jacket. It's also got the zips up the side as well, which is obviously then where it, when it then goes from just a jacket into a riding jacket, because this is obviously going to be a little bit more long line than a usual jacket that comes, you know, around hip length. It also has a hood. Is said hood detachable? Said hood is detachable as well. Um, I love having options. Um, but yeah, this is a such, such a lovely jacket, which I'll try on for you guys. Anyway. Shirt number two, so it's slightly different, I think, to last year's Elite Polo shirt. So let's have a look. Polo shirts, in my opinion, are the absolute epitome of classy and timeless equestrian wear. Equestrians have been wearing polo shirts for donkeys and donkeys and donkeys years, way before base layers ever became popular. And the reason that I love a polo shirt, let me turn you down a little bit actually, maybe a little bit high up there. That might be better. Um, <clears throat> is because of how air wicking they are, sweat wicking, air wicking, whatever you want to call it. Um, they're such a, they're such, they're such a great basic. Um, and again as well, you know, sometimes like if you've been eating a little bit too much and you don't want anything too t like close or tight fitted on you or you're uncomfortable or as a girl, you know, we might be due on and we just might not be feeling that comfy to be wearing base layers or that confident to wear base layers. Polo shirts are so great. They're so flattering. They tuck in really nicely as well, but they do give you that kind of like gaping air 
look around you so you don't know how bloated you are you don't know how skinny you are under there we've got no idea which is why i love wearing a polo shirt especially as well in the spring summer um again as i say just to get the airflow going through oh my god my voice is cracking um so yeah this is the new polo shirt it's absolutely beautiful um it's got a little lemia color badge on the back as well um <clears throat> obviously as well as a button up this feels really really lightweight um it feels a lot of a better quality to usual polo shirts like it's less thick if that makes sense um and it just i don't know i can just see this being really really great to be perfectly honest with you um so yeah again i've got this in a size eight it's short sleeved and such such a good basic now this one I'm most excited for, I'm going to be wearing this to death. Now if you aren't new here, you'd have seen me do the unboxing of the Sienna um, back in October, I want to say it was. And they brought this year's, um, like, uh, and they brought, and in the autumn winter colours this year, they did bring out hoodies very similar to this um, in the autumn winter colours. So I just say that, I'm not sure my brain's not quite in gear today. Um, but this time they brought them into the Elite collection, and this is obviously in the grey. And when I say guys, it is fleecy lined throughout, it is fleecy lined like this, like Sherpa lined oh my god everywhere it is the cozy 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 hoodie of dreams um you've got the lumia logo going down here again this is so so smart um and you've also got the um elastic pull here now this will double up as a hair tie there's so many times i go to the yard and forget my hairband this will double up as a hair tie um zip up hoodie really really easy as well for obviously getting on and off when you're riding there is nothing worse than having anything too tight around your neck getting hot wanting to take it off but having to take your hat off at the same time it's just it's a no-go so i do actually recommend when you're riding in hoodies especially if you're somebody that gets hot or likes to layer to layer with zip up I, to layer with zip up items can we appreciate this i mean I, I I want to just bury myself in this. It's so cozy. Um, the arms are fleecy. They're not quite as sharper lined as the um, obviously as the body, as we can see here with the lining. Um, but it is really really fleecy and so unbelievably soft. It feels like a really soft jersey material. Um, again, I've got this in a size eight. I absolutely adore this. Next up we have the Emma hoodie, again this is a very elite classic, a very basic jumper. Not basic in terms of being basic but a basics you know something you can wear time and time again it's never going to go out of style um it's very very discreet logo so ver there's very very discreet branding across here as well with the lumia logo um you can see it but you can't like it's not screaming it in your face as well if you're not into like heavy logos um again in the navy such a classic color it's got a really really nice hood and i love the ribboning as well on the hood ties here as well i think it's just a really really nice detail and just again makes a difference to the usual like roped um hoodie ties if that makes sense um fleecy lined as well it's not I mean it's not as sharp lined as the last one um but this is a really nice fleecy lined also got mesh lined pockets as well um and these aren't your standard kangaroo pockets these are just normal pockets going in here um they're not the biggest i wouldn't say here i mean i think my phone would fit in here but i wouldn't safely ride with my phone in there like i put it in my leggings pocket um but it's it's a really still it's a good pocket for like keys and things like that um but yeah this is a very very lovely hoodie of course it would not be a lumia haul without a new saddle pad this is the new elite saddle pad. now i haven't undone this because i wanted like a first impressions but i really wanted to touch the material before i before i showed you guys um i got a little bit impatient before filming this video last week when i was literally feel, feeling below oh god i was awful um so so i did create a little hole in the packaging and this saddle pad feels waterproof. Now, I'm not making a statement that it is waterproof, but it feels waterproof, so I'm very excited to find out more. Now, I've only got slight descriptions of products, so I actually don't know all of the benefits of these products until they go live on the, like, I think 25th, 26th of January. It is currently the 10th of January, I think, something like that. Ripping in. How gorgeous is this? And again, where it's part of the Elite Collection, it is such a classic saddle pad. So let's read some of the benefits that are released on the packaging here. So it is the soft shell anti-slip DR pad, so that's dressage pad, um, in navy, in a size large, and it's the anti-slip, so it's got the grip system up here as well. This is extra padded, and obviously it's got the silicon grip on here as well to obviously help keep the saddle in place. It doesn't say anything about it being waterproof, so I might be completely making that up. Honestly, if you could feel this material, it feels waterproof and it's going to, definitely going to be a better pad to wear in the weather as well especially as they've just said and stated that it dries a lot faster as well than other um, saddle pads on the market 
So this is the lining. It is very, very soft, but yeah, it doesn't feel as cottony as some of the others have felt before. Um, it just, it feels very, very spongy. It feels very, very soft. Um, and again, having the Pro Grip system up here as well means it's not going to go anywhere to you. So that is everything that I've got from the Elite Collection. Um, the next part of this video is definitely going to be present me and not past me, but it's been very nice to see you guys in the past and I will see you soon. <laughs> Hello and good morning, everybody. Welcome to present me. However, this time when I say present me, it's not present present me it's sort of more present than the past me a second ago so I'm going to be starting off this part of the video with a very exciting collaboration. As I've said many times on my channel before, I am huge on brand research. I'm going to say 85 to 90% of the time, I only work with brands that I've purchased myself before and had really good experiences with. And something I've said from the get-go is that I will not be um, showcasing to you guys like a lot of other influencers do teeth whitening products. However, <laughs> there is one company that works just above and beyond for me personally when it comes to teeth whitening. And I've bought from this brand for the last, I'm gonna say over 18 months, for a very, very long time. Usually I get mine from Boots, and this company was a little bit of a revelation for me as well. Um, over the years, using different teeth whitening products when I was a lot younger, before I became an influencer content creator myself, um, following other influencers' recommendations and purchasing <laughs> teeth whitening products, that really aren't very good for your teeth and end up making your teeth very sensitive. So when I found this specific company, I just, I fell in love because I can use all of their teeth whitening products and not get sensitive teeth, not have teeth that every time I take a cold drink, I'm like, oh, ow. On that note, I'm going to introduce to you the company that I am so, oh my goodness, so overwhelmed to be working with and share with you some of the products. So I am actually in a little bit of a dash this morning. I'm about to go and get my hair dye done. Um, I've just, I've just thrown some skincare on. It's now time to bring my teeth into the equation. So I'm so happy, pleased, and proud to announce my partnership and collaboration with Spotlight Oral Care. Now, as I say, I've been using this company for a very long time, and I actually, the last time I bought from them, I bought um, Boots had a 50% off of their Christmas um, collection box, like one of their Christmas gifting boxes. Um, and inside there, I had the toothpaste, the teeth whitening strips, the teeth whitening pen, um, some, some cold, like face rollers, um, the lip scrub, and some lip masks, all of which I've loved and adored. Um, and I haven't actually whitened my teeth then since the start of December. As after not long, weirdly enough, purchasing that box, did talk to this company, um, begin to collaborate with them in January. I love this company more than ever, and I'm gonna try my absolute best to get you a little discount code off as well. So I have been sent the most amazing box of goodies from Spotlight Oral Care, and some of these goodies I've actually tried before. However, there are some new products in here which I'm so excited to test. Um, I am running late for my hair appointment, so the teeth whitening strips I'm going to try at the very end of today, so do keep watching to see the results of those. However, I have been sent their Sonic toothbrush. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Now this toothbrush lasts for 70 days on one charge. It has three cleaning options as well. There's the teeth whitening, the sensitive, and just the normal cleaning brushing. And another really good thing about this toothbrush is there is an auto timer. So as you're brushing, obviously you should be brushing for two minutes. Um, there's a 30 second timer for each side of your mouth, which I think is amazing. Now this for me could not have come at a better time because this year I'm focusing all on wellness. Now it's an added bonus because it's not just a new wellness routine for me this year, it's a new year and new oral care regime. So this will be one of the most aesthetically pleasing toothbrushes you're ever going to see. This is the travel case that it comes in. Again, really, really sleek, really smart and perfect for traveling. It's a really, really sturdy and hardy um, travel case. And now I've put my toothbrush all together so it comes, it comes with lots of different heads which are really, really easy to stick back on again. The toothbrush itself, as I say, very, very aesthetic pleasing just very very nice on the eye and what I really want to try most today is a product that I've had a lot of hype about but haven't tried myself now this is this is spotlight oral care's teeth whitening powder and inside here is a patented ingredient I'm very excited to have new teeth this year <laughs> this is what the powder looks like and it's so sparkly it's like it's the most beautiful powder to look at like I want to apply it as eyeshadow <laughs> I mean I won't but I want to <laughs> It also has a really fresh and minty smell. Also, in this amazing powder, there's aloe vera and there's green tea, which is really, really great for soothing and comforting your gums. And this is also great for sensitive teeth. This isn't going to encourage any sensitivity. What I do, apparently, is I put this under the water and I press in. So let's do it together. This is my toothbrush, and I'll show you guys. Is that collected? It has. And now, apparently, I just brush like normal. Here's another beautifully packaged box that they have so kindly sent me, um, and inside here, 
is my teeth whitening strips and a toothpaste. Now, I'm not actually going to use this toothpaste today because on my bathroom side, I have my toothpaste that I've purchased, oh my goodness, over and over and over again. And this toothpaste I use every single day. And just so you can see, I'm actually telling the truth. <laughs> we have two toothpastes here. This stuff is amazing. But let me just show you inside my pouch really quickly because then I do have to run. It's going to be a no makeup day today. We have no time for that. Oh, this little pouch is so cute. So in here, there are many little teeth, little teeth whitening strips. Um, you get a top and you get a bottom. Obviously, I can talk from experience because I've used these before. I will show you them um, at the end of today when I come to whiten my teeth because you do have to leave these on for an hour and currently I do not have an hour. So guys, before I rush out the door, I just want to say the biggest thank you to Spotlight Oral Care for working with me. If I can get you guys a discount code, I will leave it in the description box down below. But all of the other information to all the products I've shown you this morning will be in the description box waiting for you. So I've never suffered with any sensitivity. My teeth are always sparkly and they're always white and looking beautiful. And I lay my full trust in this brand. This is not just another teeth whitening brand. This is, oh, it's just, it's elite, okay? It's elite. I'm gonna go and get my hair done. We're heading to the yard once I get back and I will see you guys soon. I'm back, and if you are thinking, your hair looks blonder but it doesn't look done, it is because I am looking after my hair and so I said, don't worry about blow drying it, I'll let it dry naturally. I'm not going anywhere so it can kind of just stay as is and dry as it would. So I am gonna be bespreading my eyebrows and my teeth until the, until the end of today um, because I've just got home and the sun is starting to come out and I just think all the while it's not zero degrees and it's like five degrees and it's sunshine. I need to forget everything else work-wise. I can do that tonight and head straight to the yard and ride for the first time in a week. So I'm so excited. I've just started getting all my layers on. I'm so excited to just go and ride. I'm gonna train and the training's not gonna go 100% today because we haven't had like proper training um, capabilities <laughs> weather-wise in such a long time. But every time I can, I'm getting on and we're going to do it and Ringo's going to be a gem. I just know he is, so I will see you guys at the end. I'm back 30 seconds later. Um, I've also got some stuff to do with my lorry. My lorry passed his MOT the other day. I think I might have said that on the last video. God, I can't remember now. Um, so it's passed its MOT and it's all ready to go now. It needs a new tyre, um, which I need to sort out this week, which is absolutely fine. Um, and I've just bought some stuff to put in it to stop it from going damp until I've managed to silicone the, to silicone the top of it. Um, so I need to put those in there today. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be a really fun day at the yard. Hello guys, so I'm just in the back of my lorry and I'm going to show you actually what I've been putting in the back just in case anybody is struggling with the same thing. So I bought loads of these things. They look like this from Amazon and I think you get five or four in a packet. Um, I've got two packets, so I'm going to be opening these and putting them everywhere. Um, and then I also got these ones which are slightly more expensive and you get one for the price of five of these little ones. This is how these ones come. Um, and then you get these ones, where's the other one? I've just put a couple in the cab as well. Um, yeah, these things here. They're like a, they almost feel like a, a bean bag type thing. Um, and I'm gonna put these in here as well. So I'm just gonna do that now. I'm not gonna put you guys in a time lapse because the back of my lorry needs a good clean and a sort. Um, I've had, you know, when you've had like workmen, <laughs> like mechanics and stuff in your lorry, I just need it back to me. But um, anyway, it's gonna be, I need that for like a, I need to do that on like a nice warmish day, um, at least a warmer day. Um, but I'm just gonna get these in here to stop it getting any more mouldy than it is. And then hopefully next week, or at least at the weekend, if it's a bit warmer, um, we can look at siliconing the top. Okay guys, lorry is done. I've literally opened nearly all of them and put them everywhere. So. We'll soon see the damp and the condensation leaves the premises without having to fix the silicon. Obviously, I am still going to be doing the silicon. Um, then, well, what a little Amazon bargain. If, you, if anybody wants them, I can leave them linked to my Amazon storefront, um, which is always linked in the description box anyway. Um, so, I'm now on my way to go and get my pony. Although, I think I'm on my way to go and get my pony because I haven't seen him. He's not in his stable, he is not on the horse walker, and so far, I can't see him in the fields. So unless he's in, oh I can, he's right at the end. <laughs> he's smiling for me. He's just like, appeared out of nowhere. I was like, where is Ringo? I can't see him in the fields. I haven't seen him in his stable. I mean, I did actually check to see if he was lying down in the stable, but I kind of thought, hmm, middle of the day, he's more of a nighttime sleeper. Um, but no, he's out there in his field, bless his heart. Um, so I'm actually clipping him on Thursday, which will be, I'm assuming the video after this one. Um, and I've been, I'm collaborating with the livery man, and I think, I don't know whether they're still wanting to do it because it's at the end of 
like clipping time now but I am supposed to be doing a giveaway with them on Instagram um, it's been postponed because it was supposed to be done just before Christmas um, but they were out of stock in all the clippers that I needed so I finally managed to ship them so I need to go back and talk to them actually because if I can get you guys to win some of the amazing clippers I've been sent then at least it's kind of giving something back um, or and even if not if I can get like a discount code or something would be amazing so I'll try my best for you guys it's gonna be my first time ever doing a full body clip too so we will soon see how that goes <laughs> I've done jaw clips I've done like trims I've done all things like that but never a, a clip clip um, I'm actually not wanting to do a full body I'm wanting to do more of like a blanket clip just so he's a bit smarter at the front end because realistically he doesn't get too fluffy he just I don't know I've got lots of photo shoots coming around the spring summer collections all coming everywhere um, so <laughs> I need him to look nice and smart for photo shoot season coming up the busiest time for influencers is just before the transitioning season so the end of the summer and the end of the winter because that is when everybody is preparing for all their new collections to come out i feel like people should really broaden and wait a little bit you know what i mean i like, can spread them out not broaden them out but spread them out um because it's really difficult sometimes doing spring summer shoots still got like no leaves behind you um but yeah we'll, we'll figure it out now it, it is warmer Ding goes over there, I'm just into his field, but there is, as we can still see, like slushy ice in some areas. There's also so much colder here than what it is at my house, and I'm only 20 minutes down the road, but you can see all the ice <laughs> still in the fields. Um, I've actually just come in here without his head collar as well, which wasn't the cleverest of ideas. Oh, oh, you can see how waterproof these boots are from the other day. I literally, I still haven't taken these off, and if you want me to link them below, um, again, I can because they are in a this is fashion, isn't it? There's fluffy socks on too. But these are honestly the best boots ever. Um, but anyway, here is the main man himself. God, guys, I feel like I haven't vlogged properly in ages where I've been either been like ill or just like not. Once you're ill and you're out of the zone of it, you kind of get out of the zone of it, if that makes sense. And you kind of forget what you're doing and like not lose your confidence, but like lose the woo, here we are. Um, and today I feel for the first time ever like I'm back in the, in the vlogging zone and it's great. Now, what are we looking like hair-wise? I don't really want to give you too much of a groom before we get on a ride because the sun's out, so what I might do, guys, contrary to anything I've ever done before, is not brush him like, other than like a quick body brush before I get on a ride and then sort everything out after because then it can get cloudy or cold again or whatever. I think I'm best to just get on and get trotting, you know? <laughs> coming in Mr. Mr. Handsome. What I am praying for, here we are, um, as I'm sure every equestrian is, is for a very nice February. Um, mainly A so we can get training again, but B so we can start going out again. Um, I really want to start getting Ringo out a lot um, to different lessons at different places, um, to different friends, like different friends' houses and stuff before the spring, so that we're not too stallion-y spring-like um, when we start to compete, when it starts to warm up a bit. I don't think I'm going to book any competitions until March. One, because obviously we haven't really properly trained since before Christmas because of weather and being poorly. Um, and also, um, what was I saying with this? Because uh, I haven't had a lorry, is that the other reason that I haven't I've not been competing? I don't know, but um, I don't really know what train I thought I'm on there. Um, but I just don't want the A, the risk of booking a competition and it either snowing or freezing and it cancelling or it not cancelling and having the ultimatum of do I go or do I stay at home um, and then lose the money of the entries, if that makes sense. So I feel like I'm going to be sensible and wait until March, A, so I can get all my training ready um, and ready to go um etc etc so but i do want to be going out a lot so we've got some photo shoots planned hopefully um that are away from home which again is obviously good for him to to go out um and then i'm going to start booking some lessons of lots of different people actually i think this year i really want to get lots of different trainers because i think actually sometimes having different points of views and different opinions is actually always a good thing and then you can kind of mix them all together and I don't know, find what works for you at home, or then find somebody that really works for you. Like if you're trying lots of different people, you don't know, if, if you've only got like one person, you don't know if there's someone out there that could help you better. Does that make sense? So I really want to just try and, oh yes, do you as well? Um, try and, you know, have fun with different instructions. You know, have fun finding different instructors this time as well. And it's this, and it's fun as well, isn't it? Going out to new places, especially now I've got my wheels, once I have my actual, once I have my new tire on my lorry um yeah we can really 
get out and have some fun this year. Little miss, um, how amazing it feels and how good it feels to be back vlogging and I feel back on top of the world, um, was lying because I then forgot to vlog <laughs> for the rest of today. Um, Ringo was actually a really good boy to be fair, we haven't trotted in like three weeks with weather. I don't know why my TV is just turned on. Hello Sky, TV off. It was a little bit more like, what's the word, forward than usual. Like the second I got in the saddle, we were off in trot, bless his little heart. Um, but yeah, no, he was a really good boy. He was a little bit um, like not soft in that right rein again, which I just think is just practice where we haven't been riding. Um, so that will come with time. But yeah, he was a really good boy. But it was as well, the yard was so busy. Like all the liveries were there and I haven't seen all the liveries in ages. There was like five of us in the, in the arena at the same time. We were all tacking up at the same time. And it was just very social and just very lovely. So um, it wasn't really the best kind of day to vlog anyway so maybe my intuition wasn't forgetful it was best just to enjoy the day um so i've just got home and i'm going to show you some things because i've just got a hello fresh delivery now this isn't an ad however i have worked with hello fresh before august september was it if you're not new here you'll remember when um and my discount code is still live from back then because i've been using it myself for 50 percent off and last week i mean you get 50 percent off your first box and then either 35 percent i think off like the next three or four boxes um so last week we did it for the first time we got five meals for two people and unbelievable meals, 16 pounds. This, the, like, the, the quality of the food is unbelievable. The taste of the food is unbelievable. And for 16 pounds, I mean, usually I think without the discount codes, it's about 40 pounds for five meals for two people in a week. Um, which, perfectly honest, is actually really good as well. Then you don't need to go out and think about what you want for dinner. Um, you have your recipe cards, you have everything that comes in, which if I remember, I'll show you. Um, all of your seasonings, everything is portioned perfectly for that meal. It just makes life so easy. So covering my address, my um, my HelloFresh box has literally just arrived. The other thing that I brought back from the yard from my grooming kit is a new full bottle, which I haven't started a ringer yet, of Regrow because I want to try it out myself. Um, so all of the Naked Horse products are human grade, as all and as always, like all, all the and I was. And as always, all the links um, down, oh, are down below for Naked Horse. Um, I've got a 10% discount code, which you can either use by putting the discount code in, or if you follow the link down below, it is an affiliates link, um, but you'll also get 10% off using the link, if that makes sense. Um, but they're all human grade, meaning you can use them all on your own hair. So the results that Ringo's had using this are incredible. So I'm going to try it on my own hair, basically. So put that back with me. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put my food away and get into some cozies. I actually think I might go to the gym tonight. I don't know why I'm feeling Jim. I don't know what's come upon. I don't know what's come upon me, but I think I actually might head down to the gym. It's one of those things I haven't been in ages, and I feel like not nervous to get back, but nervous. Um, I think it's just peer pressure, isn't it? Even though nobody gives a flying hoot. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I might actually not get into comfies and get into some leggings and a big cosy jumper um, and head actually down to the gym before it starts to get busy at five o'clock. It's now on quarter to five. Um, I've got a couple of emails to send first. Um, and then I may, may head down to the gym. So yeah, I'll see you guys soon. Good afternoon, guys. So it is the following day. I actually went to the gym last night. I honestly, I had the fear for the first time ever. I mean, I used to be the biggest, not the biggest weightlifter ever, but I used to love lifting weights. And back in 2018, I mean, I was extremely lean, um, but I was living in the gym like twice a day. Like the gym was my happy place. Um, and I kind of fell out of love with it, I think, because I went too hard too quickly. Um, and I didn't have a life outside of the gym. So I haven't really been back full time since 2018. Like I've had stints or months of going um, and then always quitting and never finding like a nice balance. But we've just booked another holiday today. So I really do need to keep the momentum up of going to the gym. And it's really nice that we've um, done our garage, but it's limited weight supply wise um, and being a girl. I mean, Jack's got all of his weights in there and they're really large and hefty weights, which are great. Um, and it's great for squatting and stuff, but there's not a squat rack. So... I can't pick up heavy weight and lift it up and put it over on my back. So at least when I'm in the gym, and I've obviously got a gym membership that I need to be using. But anyway, that's like bye to the bye. I went to the gym. I need to keep up the momentum. I need to keep up the, mem the momentum. I cannot get my words out. And I actually had a really good workout. I just did upper body, as I say, my weights are limited um, at home. I actually had a good workout. I said on the I said on the treadmill for like 15 minutes. I was like, I'm just so nervous to go into the weights room. I just walked on an incline. And then I thought, oh, get some balls and go on in. And I went at the worst time, I went at rush hour, like the after 5 p.m. rush hour. I think I got there at like 5.45 once I'd finished work for the day. Um, but it was fine, I got it over and done with. I went and had a steam room and a went and had a steam sauna after a shower and I came home and cooked the best HelloFresh meal we've had yet. We've had, we had the mango and chicken curry. Oh my God, it was amazing. Um, 
So today, as I said, we've just booked a holiday. We're going to Saint-Tropez for a week in May. Um, Jack's also taking me on holiday for my birthday at the end of March as well. So I need to um, find a little rider to keep Ringo in work while I'm away, actually, um, because it is definitely coming up to competition season now. So this morning I've done loads of work. I've just done a full unboxing and some try on um, Instagram reels um, for a brand called Horse Gloss and a brand called Rosewood Label. Um, Rosewood Label is basically, um, it's basically owned by the same owner as Horse Gloss, but she's just started her own luxury gym wear brand. So I've just done that for them as well. Um, I've done loads of admin this morning. I kind of feel like I'm at a good place. I had some Weetabix for breakfast and I feel like it's just set my day up in a really good way. Um, so now I want to get a tiny bit of lunch. I'm still quite full from the Weetabix. So I just want like a light lunch just so I've had something. Um, I need to go upstairs and do a tiny bit more work before heading to the yard, giving Ringo potentially right, guys, it's so grey out here today. It's like, it's gone back cold again, but grey, whereas it was okay when it was freezing and the sun was out because at least the sun was out. Oh, I feel so, it just feels so much like damper and cold today. Um, I feel really bad for bathing him, but I think I might not do a full body bath because I'm definitely not going to do a full body clip now. I've decided I'm not doing a full body clip. Um, I'm going to do his neck down and potentially like under where his girth would be. Um, and then stop just so it gives him some clear lines and makes him look a little bit smarter and tidier from that way. Um, it's too cold and I just, he doesn't need a full clip. So I'm just going to make him look a little bit tidier, use my clippers, give you guys a little bit of a laugh. Um, I'm also going to Tamsin's yard afterwards um, to clip one of her horses. So it's going to be like a whole vlog. So the next vlog after this one, definitely look out for. Um, I'll actually show you guys the clippers that I have. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go to the yard after. I might ride, I, I might not. Um, it's just, it's so grey and disgusting out there, but I also really should ride. Um, so I probably will. I've got the clipper um, oils and sprays and things there, like the washers. Um, I've been sent the trimmer. I'm literally going to be using this non-stop. I always, I clip Ringo um, year round underneath his jaw for like a beard trim with these. And I, the, the first time I've been using this brand, my usual, the brand I usually use is actually from Amazon, which are actually amazing. So I'm really looking forward to seeing if these are any different or any better. And then, I have these and I'm not actually going to open them I don't think until tomorrow's video so we can go through them all properly um but yeah oh my goodness I'm unbelievably excited yeah, I mean I'm, I'm unbelievably excited for this um and yeah, this is what we're going to be clipping Ringo with tomorrow. As I said yesterday, I was going to speak to uh, Livery Man to see what I can do giveaway-wise. We are still going to be running the giveaway, so I'm going to get some photos tomorrow as well. Um, so do, if, so if you aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to go and follow me on Instagram. It's at Scarlet Martin with an underscore, um, because that giveaway should hopefully be coming at the end of next week which might be the week this video goes live. Basically, I've got, I've got like a backlog of videos to go live, but they're all running in order, and the first one needs approving, and the lady that needs to approve it's on holiday, so I'm kind of like, I'm stuck. I'm like, God, I've got like all these videos to post, and so I'm going to be w way behind, but it does mean I've got catch-up time, which is maybe quite nice actually being in front of where I need to be. Quite a difficult time for vlogs anyway because of weather, so it's kind of, it's not the worst thing in the world to be behind on. Um, so yeah, so I am going to be holding a giveaway on the trimmers, so the smaller, the smaller clippers, so do head to my Insta keep, just to keep an eye on the whole giveaway situation. Situation. Um, but yeah, I'm going, but I'm going to do my teeth whitening in a second. I'm going to have some lunch and then I'm going to go and do the last emails for like the next hour with my teeth, with my teeth whiteners in so we can have like a little look and a, um, a see of how they do. Oh my goodness, guys. What a day. I say what a day. What an afternoon. Um, excuse me, can everybody get out of the office dustbin? I've got all three dogs with me, so I've actually got Bridget's mum staying with me for a week. Um, Bridget is this one. Little Jackawawa. Mm. And I've actually got her mummy staying with me because she's owned by my mummy and my mummy is on holiday. So I'll show you Sylvia. Mm. So this is little Sylvia. Mm. And she's been staying with me. And of course, as always, we've got Maggie Moo. Mm. <laughs> coming down and having a cup of tea. Um, I feel like I can talk to you guys about what's happened and then what is not happening in this video. Um, obviously, as I said to you, we booked our holiday. We went to pay for our holiday. Um, needed all of our passport details. Who couldn't find her passport? Hours. Hours. Um, I don't lose things, ever. Especially not things like that. I knew, well, I did have a cry. I was like, I felt sick. I don't even know why I did. I was just like, almost just I just couldn't believe I'd lost it I think it was more the fact of how careless I was that I was more upset about losing and also it's like your form of identity it's like it's and also it's your form of identity it's the only way you can travel I was like oh my god I've lost it 
we have one holiday coming up in under two months and obviously I know there's a huge backlog of passports as well so I was just I was in a bit of a tiz and then I suddenly thought to look in my bag I took to Bali I mean I tipped my house upside down and I'd already been through this bag four times but I remember that there's a very hidden pocket and in that very hidden pocket lo and behold was my passport so I now have run out of time to go to the yard and bath ring I'm going out for dinner tonight that doesn't matter what well, does obviously matter I'm going out for dinner um, but it's the fact of it's now getting very cold again to bath so as well because I think I've decided to not give him a full clip and just do his neck um, I'm not going to bath him I know his clip isn't then going to be as good I know that um, but it's so cold I'd rather him not have the best clip and then clip him again in like a week's time and just go over my lines um, after a bath once it's warmed up a little bit than what I would him have a cold rather than what I would him catch a chill and then be poorly for whatever you know for a couple of days or coughing or whatever like that you know um, so I'm not going to do that I'm not going to the yard today because um, so, it's now like half past four um, and I've lost all that time I had so much to do today I mean I managed to get lots done this morning that was just not all I needed but I've now got my passport back it's in the place where I always keep it, um, which I think is why I was like, well, if it's not in the place I always keep it, it's nowhere else because I don't keep it anywhere else. Oh my god, my house has been tipped up, up. My, my house has literally been tipped upside down. So now I've tidied the house back up again. As promised, I was going to show you the teeth whitening strip. I will put those in in a second. But I have just also had an Amazon delivery come, and I will leave these again in the description box on my Amazon storefront. But some new hair essentials. So I've had the best things ever the hair bus chewable um hair vitamins you're supposed to take two a day i've just taken mine they, and they just like this and they look like this little gummies which i've just dropped one well that's just it's gone it had like that amount of area to fall in and it didn't fall in that amount of area um anyway so anyway that's the the hair gummies they're just they're supposed to be amazing for hair growth and condition um i am a huge believer in rosemary oil and i literally put all of my trust in rosemary oil. However I usually buy jojoba oil on its own and then the rosemary essential oil and I mix the two together um, but this time it actually made more sense and more co and, it and it became more cost effective to buy like a ready made one. I'm from Amazon it's called the Forest and Shore um, and this has green coffee, castor oil, argan oil, coconut oil and rosemary oil to encourage thicker and fuller hair um, again for hair growth and basically this I mean this one actually has to leave it on for three days a week to put it on for three days a week um, but I usually do one oil mask week um, and I leave it on either overnight or all day long um, and then wash it off and you do need two shampoos to really make sure it's coming off and then I bought this because I have literally had the best things ever about this um, it was a lot more expensive on cold beauty than what it was Amazon actually so I did manage to pick it up on Amazon it's not the cheapest and it's quite a small bottle but a tiny bit I did put some through my hair earlier um, and a tiny amount does go a long way you can apply it to damp or dry hair um, and it's basically it's got hyaluronic acid in it and it's just supposed to be a really nice elixir for your hair so I've got those and I've put the um, Amazon storefront details down below for you guys um, so that's that I'm also going to show you teeth whitening I'm gonna go and brush my teeth and then I'll be back to put them on okay so I actually lied I wouldn't have another cup of tea I had a tiny bit of food because once these go in I can't eat or drink now for an hour so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a TikTok on these so they're gonna be in the background of this um, because I do have to film a TikTok on them these are my teeth before okay what the lighting is doing here but they're like let me shine the torch on them <laughs> there we go that's probably like the better lighting so they're not so they're not not white, but they could be a lot, lot glossier. Hello guys, so I have a very, very exciting collaboration with one of my, with my favourite teeth whitening company ever. I, I feel very, very honoured right now, um, and I want to share with you some of my favourite products from them. They sent me a huge, they sent me a huge PR parcel which I've unboxed on YouTube and tested a couple of other products on YouTube. So if you want to go and check that out, my everything is in my link tree in my bio. They sent me this toothpaste. I use this toothpaste every single day. So basically, I've bought from this company for years, and this is my everyday toothpaste. They very kindly sent me a top up of this. But what's in here is what we're going to try today, and that of course is their teeth whitening strips. Now I get very sensitive teeth, and I actually can't use. Um, and I found in the past I can't actually use teeth whitening strips without my teeth killing. I've tried these before because I kind of thought, well, I'll just go for one more, like one more. I thought I'd just give it one more attempt. I tried these. I bought like their Christmas collection um, just before Christmas when Boots had a sale. I think it was like the beginning of December. 
and they changed the game. So I haven't actually t uh, whitened my teeth since the start of December. I've turned all the beauty filter off now. So this is the natural colour now of my teeth. So they're not not white, but they could be a lot more gleaming and glowing. So I've just had uh, everything I need to drink and eat for the, ne for the next hour because once these go in, they have to be in for an hour. No food, no water, etc. We have a bottom strip and a top strip. I'm going to pop them on and then we'll leave it for an hour and I'll be back. Okay guys, they're in. Um, I can't talk very well without them. I can't talk very well with them in, but I will see you guys once they're done. I have very, very white teeth. I don't know if this lighting is picking it up. Should I just shine the torch again? I feel like that worked really well earlier. <laughs> they are so white after one session. So I actually ended up leaving them in 45 minutes because time just got away with me and all of a sudden we're leaving for dinner in 10 minutes time. So, um, so I didn't even leave them on for the full hour. So you are supposed to do this every two weeks, I think it is. So I'm going to definitely be keeping that up as I've got loads of notice strips now to be able to keep that up with. Any information I have, of course, for Spotlight Oral, as always, will be in the description box down below. I'm going to try my best to get you guys a discount code as well. So if I've managed to do that, there will be one in the description box as well. And happy shopping. Let me know how you get on with them as well if you do order them. Leave this video here because tomorrow I'm clipping Ringo. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, I am definitely stepping my niche into like more of a broader aspect now. So it's not. It's still obviously going to be mainstreaming um, equestrian, but I have a country lifestyle. I have a passion for beauty. I have a passion for lifestyle fashion and like not street style fashion but you know what I mean like beautiful fashion as well as just equestrian fashion so I really want to this year really step into those other sectors of um of my passions and introduce you to some beautiful brands that I get to work with and not even just brands that I get to work with but brands I have a huge passion for that I buy from myself and to be fair as well 99% of the time the brands that I do work with I have bought from in the past as well so you really do get my full honest opinions on them as well so I really hope you've enjoyed this video have a wonderful day and I will see you guys soon <laughs>